name is John Stern. I'm the executive director of the Irvine Museum. I'm an art historian whose specialty is the paintings of California from the late 19th and early 20th century. Artists generally do not paint in the middle of the day because the sun is overhead, there are no shadows. They'll paint early in the day and they'll paint late in the day because the colors change, the shadows come out, and everything is much more interesting and they can play with it more than just an ordinary, you know, it's like taking a flash picture as opposed to taking available light. But you look at one of these paintings by Bischoff or by the other masters of the Arroyo Seco, you get immediately what the meaning is because it's something you see every day, something you live in. It's part of your life. It's part of your soul. It's nature at its most beautiful. These artists paint what might seem to be an ordinary view, maybe a banal view, maybe something nobody would take a second look at. They paint it and suddenly you say, oh my gosh, I didn't know this was that beautiful. Or next time I'm going to look for it. This is the real value of having these artists is they remind us where we come from. And we come from the land. We come from nature. And they remind us that we need to stop. We need to look around. We need to appreciate more of what there is. You know, you come home, you've been on the freeway a whole day's work. You've been honking your horn. You've been breathing bad air from the exhaust. You come home and you see a beautiful landscape by one of these guys. Suddenly you decompress. Suddenly you go back to the way you were. And, and you recharge yourself to go out the next day and do it all again. So I think this art has a very specific meaning to people because it, it strikes home in a very ancient way. You know, it's, it's not a painting that you have to sit down and figure out what the heck is it? What do these lines mean? What do these squares mean? It isn't a painting where, where some, you know, people are chasing a stagecoach and one of them is about ready to fall off the cliff and the other, the horse is ready to fall and it's all so tense, you don't want to get tense. You want to unwind. And the best way to unwind is to go back to nature.